G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. It's a massive mold. Another one I've made myself. I bought a real geode crystal and I molded it. It's taken me a long time to get to this stage, but I'm very excited. I'm going to pour in it today. I am. So it's a pretty big, I don't know if you can see in there. I'll try and show you. It's a bit difficult. But um, yeah, it's, um, I'm hoping it's going to look like amethyst today. I'm going to do purples in it. And it's kind of domed like that. So when you take it out of the mold, it's like a little bowl. It'd just be, just be really gorgeous as a decoration or a little trinket bowl or whatever. But probably just a more, more of a decoration, real talking piece. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I have got two shades of purple. And I was really debating whether or not I'd drop the ink in here and then pour the resin in but I wasn't sure whether it was maybe going to go streaky and I don't want streaks so I'm going to put some of the purple in that one and some of the dark indigo in this one these are both let's resin I only want them just colored though like I don't want them to be too dark so we'll just start with one one little drip drop and the purple one drop that's more of a pinky purple that's more of a purple purple so we'll just we'll just see what happens so yeah I, I really don't want them dark at all just a hint of color <laughs> it's probably too much already <laughs> oh, but see how it's streaky so I didn't want that if I dropped the ink into the into the center like straight onto the mold I was worried that it might look a bit streaky and I didn't want that so I'll mix that in really well. I'm using the Platinum um, River Table Resin because I can pour it up to 5 centimeters, which is 2 inches. Which is probably almost what that is. Maybe not quite. And then I've also got over here, I've got these little, I don't even know, I think they're for nail decorating, like, you know, nail decorating. I think it's for that sort of thing. So I've got my two shades here, um, and what I thought I would do is put a little bit of that, I think it's just like a cellophane, I thought I'd put a little bit, how do I open it, without making a mess, a little bit into each cup. It kind of looked purpley when I opened it, but now it's looking a bit green. I've got this one as well, but that one looks more more sort of green. I'm trying to find something that's just more purple. It's kind of got a more greeny gold to it, that one. Oh, look, I'll just stick with this one. I'm only going to put a tiny little bit in. Just kind of what's going to stick to the stick. Stick to the stick. There's one little hint of shimmer in there, you know. Hopefully it'll just give a hint of shimmer. Is that a really big piece? Oh, gosh. So once it's all in there, I don't know that you'd actually notice if there's like a big bit in there, but I'm going to take that big chunk out. Out you go. See, so just a little, a little hint of sparkle in there. Like I don't want it to be too much. I think that's just nice. We'll do the same to this one. Just dip that in. Just put that over there so I don't make a mess everywhere. Now, how will I do this? Because normally the deeper part of the stone, I think, is kind of darker. I have got a little bit more resin here, clear, and I thought I might sort of put the put these two around the edge and then as it gets darker uh, well deeper I'll put another drop in here and kind of pour it on the top and have like a darker shade even though this one's quite dark <laughs> I wasn't planning on it being that dark let's mix these up and I don't know whether I should do pink like a pinky purple under purple but, oh, look, I don't know doesn't really matter does it it's gonna look pretty regardless I think I'll probably just mix the two together at some stage anyway here we go we'll get started I'm going to spray my mold with some alcohol first just to get into those little crevices there. I 
just helps with breaking the surface tension of that mold and hopefully not getting too many bubbles. I'll go around the edge as well, around there. Hopefully that will help. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Oh gosh, maybe I should be using a paper cup. <laughs> Put some of that on that side and then kind of put a bit of it on this side and hopefully the two colours will kind of stay separate. I don't know. Look, it's looking dark already. I didn't even want it that dark. What I'll do is I'll pour my clear in later. Okay. Um, let's pour a little bit of clear in. Let's look go over the top. Like so. And that'll kind of dilute, hopefully, those colours there. A little bit. Like one drop. I didn't think one drop would be that strong, but obviously it is. I wonder if I can bang this without it splashing up at me. We'll try. There we go. Ah! See, <laughs> that's what I was I was planning on not doing, but okay, probably dropped it a little bit too hard. I'm going to have to clean that up. All right, I just cleaned that up a little bit. You're on that side. And you're on this side. Trying to keep the two separated a little bit just for a slightly different look. Um, and then what I want to do right at the end, I think I'm going to put some dark, put another drop of purple in there. I think I've got enough resin to go around. One drop in there. That was the dark indigo. Like so. Actually, there's quite a little, quite a, enough glitter in there already. So that'll be the last thing I do. That one, pour it into the center. It's going to pour this in. I hope I've made up enough. I made up, like I said, I'm using the river resin, which is a two to one, and I did uh, 300 grams of A and 130 grams of B. So I've got 430 grams all up. If you want to know what that is in ounces, just divide it by 30. Well, it's actually 28, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, now let's pour a little bit of this in. Uh, we'll just see what happens. Oh, gosh. Because I do want a little bit of darker in the middle, but I'm hoping it's all going to kind of blend. Oh, look at that. That's the perfect amount, you guys. Now... I don't want to look as if it's a big blob on the top. See, this is oh, this is the problem. This is the problem. Because it looks as if there's a big blob now on top. Doesn't it? Let's see if I can push some of that resin into those little faceted areas. I don't know if it'll go in there. So that's what I could have done. I could have poured it, poured it into those little holes first. I'm just going to give it a bit of a swirl so that I can blend it. I'll wipe my edges in a minute once I'm done. have no idea how, how this is going to look. Uh, hopefully it'll look pretty. All right, that's kind of blended. I just don't want too many streaks. Now, this is what I... Th I didn't want to get streaks. I wanted to avoid streaks, but... When you put in um, a colour that's got a lot of ink in it, it, it does kind of go a bit streaky. There's a lot of glitter in there. I put a tiny bit in, hey. Okay, I think that'll do. Hopefully that darker will kind of stay on top. I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Now I'm going to have to wait a whole 24 hours, I think, to demold that. And I'm just going to get my baby wipe and I'm going to go around the edge because I've kind of gone over a little bit on over the edge there when I was poking around in there. 
I don't want to go over the edge. Oh, that was pretty good, eh? Hey? That was 430 grams. Now, when I made this mould, I've, I've actually made this mould a couple of weeks ago and I just haven't got around to pouring it yet. I used my harder silicone. It's a 25 Sure Hardness or SH. Um, I have since got a 15 as well, which isn't quite as hard. It's a softer resin, so it's easier to unmould. So this one, I mean, I'll still be able to unmould it, but it might be a little bit trickier. But when, like, I'll, I will be putting these in my eBay store for you. Um, and I will be making them out of the softer silicone. So just because they bend easier, you know what I mean? They do bend easier. So a little quick, just a little torch in the centre there. Not too much. You don't want to melt your silicone. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. All right, let's get you down. Not that you can see much, but... And I have no idea what this is going to look like, you guys. You know, here am I wanting a nice, pale, amethyst-looking piece. It looks quite dark. I don't know what under here is going to look like. It might not be so dark. But look, it's pretty big. It's my finger. <laughs> okay. Uh, wish me luck. I'll see you guys tomorrow and we will unmold this gorgeous creature. Do you guys remember when I made this sheet of holographic silicone? Oh gosh, look at all the... <laughs> it's got bits of glitter and stuff on it oh because it's been sitting out for ages now you can't wipe it like you can't get the dust off with a, with a cloth or anything like you can't wipe it you could probably put a bit of tape on it and try and get the glitter or dust off it that way but as soon as you wipe it um, touch it anything like that you're going to get fingerprints on it so I probably should have made it and then covered it up with something because I can see all my glitter on there anyway that's okay. I am going to flip this over and I'm going to push it in to the center and then gently just let it fall down and hopefully get contact with that resin that's there. Yay! <laughs> All right. I shouldn't touch it, should I? Let's just let's just leave it. Hopefully it's hopefully it's got contact. Cross fingers. <laughs> All right, now I can go. <laughs> See you soon. It's the next day. It's not quite 24 hours, but I think it's close enough. So let's peel this off. Like so. little bit of <laughs> look at that I've got a little bit of overflow I wasn't sure when I was pushing it down that it would but it's um it's taken it's taken all the glitter and dust off <laughs> so that's a good thing all right let's move that out of the way and I can just look at that oh look I've got a little piece of holographic resin <laughs> oh, small things new small minds don't they all righty where are we up to here I think there's a little bit more, a little bit more I can feel. I guess I can just pick that off later. Oh, now I can see it actually when I'm moving this. So yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit on the tricky side to unmold because I am using the Sure Hardness 25 silicone instead of the 15 but next time I make it I will do the 15 and then when I sell them I'll do the 15 it's it's um it's a lot of silicone though and it's quite heavy and it's going to be quite expensive to post I would think let's just loosen it all the way around I'm gonna to have to trim off these little bits of overflow if I didn't have those it'd be perfect See, normally I would bring this up to my belly so I could hold it in place but can't really do that and stay in focus so let's try it this way instead it's not difficult to get out look at that let's pop that out it, 
it's much more purple than what I wanted. Like, seriously, I, I was trying for such a pale, delicate purple. Um, but yeah, it just didn't happen. Did not happen. I'll clean that off later. I'll put some tape on it and clean that off. Now, before I turn it over, I want to snip those. So bear with me. I can just tear them. Okay, it's going to take longer. All right, let's just do this, hey? I'll snip them later. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. <gasps> look how sparkly it is. Oh, wow. It's so sparkly and shiny. I hope you can pick that up. It might be a little bit difficult. But, oh, wow. Look. So, you can see, like, it's, it's a bowl. You know, you can put things in it. <laughs> Uh, like a little keychain. <laughs> I'm going to use that in a resin project later, but a little keychain in there. You can put all kinds of little things in there, couldn't you? Or you could just put it in a plate stand or something um, and just have it as a decoration. Those of you that love crystals will appreciate something like this, I guess. And then, because it's quite transparent underneath there, so you can see the holographics there on the back but I don't see any holographics I don't think I do sort of coming through it's probably maybe they're there and I just can't see them very well but it's right because it's so textured in there you might not be able to to see it or maybe it is and it's just oh, every now and then I get a little flicker of some something I don't know what it is, but it's just, everything's just so shimmery and shiny in there. It's hard to know whether or not you can actually see the holographic. So it's really smooth on the edge here. You can see where the light catches it. It's really smooth on the edge and it's got a curve around here. I will have to trim those off. <laughs> so there you go. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, by the time you see this video, they will the mold will be in my store. So if you want to get yourself one of these, you're most welcome to. I don't know what colours I want to do next. I'll have to have a think about what colours to do next. I think what I'll do next is um, actually drip alcohol inks into the mold, into a few of those little facets, and then just pour clear over it and just just see what happens. Hey because it is a little bit darker than I wanted. And I can't see like how I had the more pink and then the more purple and then the darker in the middle. It's just all, it's just all blended into one. I guess you could do, if you're doing different layers, um, you know, you could potentially do a lighter and then as you get up and up and up, you can get darker and darker, which means your center would be darker. But um, I don't know. We'll just have to have a little play with it and see what we think. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It's quite heavy too. I could think it was a real crystal. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video, of course. And uh, yeah, I'll just bring you down so that you can have another little look at it from a different angle. Look at all the glitter there. The glitter being heavier, it's kind of sunk to the bottom, which is sitting in here. You can see little bits of it in there, but it's mainly sitting around the top edge here, isn't it? Look at that. Down into it, into the depths. <laughs> wow, I love it. I really love it. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of it. And um, yeah, I'll see you again real soon for the next one. Okay, take care. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye for now.